fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 15th of February 2023. I hope you are keeping very well, enjoying life as it should be. And if it's still Valentine's Day where you are, I hope you're having a good one. Uh, mine was non-existent, <laughs> rather unexpectedly. Um, but anyway, we will not dwell on that. Uh, but yesterday I didn't actually get out of the house. So today I really wanted to uh, do a bit of exercise, get out at, at least for a, a, a short time. And uh, uh, it's been raining and I had plans to go on a long walk this morning, but it's actually been raining since early this morning and now it's just early afternoon. Um, but uh, the great thing about living in a tropical country is that you can actually go out in the rain if it's not monsoon type. And uh, it's been raining kind of medium heavy rain today, let's say. Um, so not monsoon rain or anything like that. Not just a sprinkling either, somewhere in between those two. Um, but, you know, uh, I you can walk out in a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and an umbrella. And uh, I've been on a it was just 10 minutes either way or 10 or 15 minutes walk to the local supermarket and and then 10 or 15 minutes back. So I did manage to get a little bit of exercise in, which was nice. Um, and uh, but the great thing is that, you know, when I think of how I used to hate the rain in London, it was always freezing, that biting cold rain. I hated it so much. Uh, I think I suffered from that seasonally affected disorder problem that people get from living in the horrible dark countries or you know I, it's i really dislike cold weather um but uh, the rain in thailand is not really cold um sometimes it's even warm it wasn't warm today but it's not cold at all it's just kind of a um i can't say room temperature because we're not in a room oh it's just <laughs> uh um red wine temperature okay uh let's get on with the game of sudoku from the new york times shall we a uh, quick um Warning at the beginning, this is not a notation-free channel, so if that's your thing, uh, you might not be satisfied here. But uh, you might find some help in the comments section uh, if that's what you are after. Right, so first of all, obviously there's a two down here. That's a clear thing to spot. Uh, actually, we've also got eight blocking down here and eight across here, so we'll get ourselves an eight there. I like this block down here. Oh, look, there's a three down there as well. Nice little block to start with, isn't it? And in fact, we've got threes up here, down here, and across here as well. Uh, right, what's missing here? Well, four is missing. I can see four is missing immediately. I see the fours blocking across there. This has to be one and something. One and seven so one's blocking up here one's blocking across here and across here that will be our one and seven will be in one of those squares blocking across here and across here and a seven down here that will be a seven seven down to the bottom here no uh, but it will give me sevens in those squares there uh, obviously we've got blocked here and here uh, how about up there? Seven's blocking up there. Oh, t oh, wait a minute. Seven is one of our missing digits here. Seven blocking across here. So seven in one of those squares blocking across. That gives us a seven there. So now we've got seven blocking here and blocking here and blocking here. That's got to be a seven. Oh, this is a nice fast start. I, I can't believe it. Something bad is going to happen very soon. <laughs> in a moment, I'm going to get very bogged down. I'm sure of it. Uh, right. Okay, how about the ones? Anything else happening on the ones? We've got ones here. There is, look at that. One down there and one down there. How about that? Uh, what's missing here? Two, six. No, it wouldn't quite be that much. Okay, two or six. Uh, let's come back to this. One, seven. So, missing from here is... Five, six, nine. We have the six blocking across here. So that's obviously six is there, six is there, like that anyway. Um, anything else known about the six? Sixes go there. Six is right. So again, we're in this middle row here. Hmm. 
Uh, I guess we have sixes still possible like that. Okay, what sevens I did already, didn't I? Sevens. Uh, We have eight blocking across here. So eight blocks up here. Eight is in one of those squares there, blocks that square there, and eight blocks this square here. So we've got an eight over there as well. Now we've got four blocking this square and four blocking this square. So that's a four there. And we'll be left with six, nine, I guess, in those squares there. Uh, nine, yes. Um, yeah, that's right. Oh, but with the four, we better do something else. Look, four in that square as well. And four down and up, etc. Four there. Uh, did I work that out as something before or not? No, I think I was, I'm was. i just dreaming. I thought I'd seen something in here before, but I, I don't think it's true. Uh, I see um, that it has to be four now, of course. We've got fours up there, but I'm, I thought I'd seen something else up there. So not, not that. Um, right. Are we over our easy spell yet or not? Are there any others? Ah, oh, right, so our seven blocks across here, and seven is one of our missing digits here, so that has to be seven. And then seven's all the way to the top here, and a seven across, that's a seven there. Um, down here, can we? Oh, I'm getting a message. Um, no, that might mean I'm going to get a telephone call to tell me work has come in. Hmm. Let's see. I'll try to ignore it for the moment. Just don't tell anybody. Uh, no, can't do more. What's missing from this block here? We got one, two, three. We're looking for five, six, nine, five, six, nine, and we've got six, nine blocking up here. So that's a five, then, isn't it? Five blocking up here. Five blocking up here, and five across gives us a five there now five blocking all of these squares here and five blocking that square means that this is a five and five blocking up there and across here means this is a five now I did something discovered something there before what was it F uh, four this is four and five right four five up there four five across here four five across here yes this is a pair of four and five what does it mean i don't know but anyway it is four or five. Oh, in the meantime much easier six across here otherwise people will be complaining i'm leaving out the easy things obviously there's a nine up there uh what's left uh s no not six uh eight goes there and this is a six, right? Um, but I'm going to come back down here because this was four, five. So what else do we know? The two blocks across there. Twos. Uh, six. Six is up here. Hmm. Well, I don't really see what that gives me, but I do see, obviously, we've got two and eight pair here. I know that eights are in 
these two squares. I also know that twos are in those squares there. Um, anyway, um, let's see what else we can do. Uh, now, what's missing up here? Uh, what do we know about ones are in those squares? Oh, there's just one digit missing here. You've been shouting at me, haven't you? Thank you. I've just heard you. Thank you, fellow Sudokans. Right, nine blocking down here. That's our nine there. And so this is eight and two, right? And this was eight or two here, but we can't have a unique rectangle. <laughs> uh, right, it's a two. Does the two do anything much? Not sure. Uh, meantime, there's one here. I almost missed again. That will be a two. So that puts uh, two into one of those squares up there, doesn't it? Obviously, we've got twos like this. Um... That's our pattern for twos. Um, uh, I don't have any completed digits just yet. One, seven, four, five, no, four, five, we've got eight, we've got. Oh, here we go. Six blocking down here and six across here puts six into one of those squares. So six blocking up there, six blocking up there. That's our six. Now, if we know that this is two and eight, we can get this. This must be one, mustn't it? Okay, so one across here. Here's our one. Here's our seven. Seven across here. Seven down here. Here's our seven. And that's the last digit, seven. Um... Getting more email coming in. I'm definitely going to have to start work in a second. Um, three. Uh, okay, let's see what's left. Uh, I wonder if I should re-examine this four or five. Um, does it? Do I know anything else yet? Uh, so we've got nines over here. Um, eights, I still don't know about. And what's the other number? Oh. Yes, this is four or five, right? So that leaves six, eight, and nine for these three squares, doesn't it? Six, eight, nine? I hope so. Six and nine are here, so this has to be eight then. So then eight blocks across here, that would be eight. This would be two. And this is four or five. We know this is nine and... 9 and 9 and 6. Yeah, 9 and 6 blocking up here. Um, six. Hold on, I'll be there in just a second. I'm sure you've finished already, but I'm a bit slow. 
I will be there. I'll be with you quite soon. Coming soon. Two, six, nine. Okay. So uh, in this column, we're missing two, six, and nine. We've got six and nine in the top row, so that must be a two. Uh, that's still two in those squares, no. Um, uh, must be able to work out what goes up here. This is uh, eight in those squares. What else? Uh, we're looking for one, we're eight, and, eight and four. Okay, we've got eight and four blocking across here. So this is eight and four. So we got one blocking up here and up here. That will be our one. One across here and three across here. So that's one and three. This will not be one or three. It must be two. One, three, one, three. Okay. Um... Right, this is uh, six and nine. Okay, and this was six and nine here as well. So we've got a pair of six and nine here, if that means anything. I'm not sure it does, but anyway. Uh, yeah, actually, it does because this is six. Okay, we've got six and nine definitely in these squares, right? And we've got six and nine definitely in these squares. Just double check, yes. So this is a pair of six and nine. So that means six can't be in any other squares. This can't be six. That must be six, and this must be two. Wow, this must game is so much easier than normal than the recent games of uh, the New York Times, unless I've done something terribly wrong, which I, <laughs> I'm still not ruling out. I must admit. Um, and this is six nine, isn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, six nine in this column here. Six nine six nine. Yes, this is all six nine. So this can't be six nine. Uh, I'm getting a bit. I'm getting a bit lost here. Let's see. Let's go on a little. Um, Ah, here we go. One blocking up there. Of course, I could have done that before, couldn't I? Three there. Okay, gotcha now. I see you now. And three is the last digit down here. Three across here, down here, and down here. There's our three missing numbers here are two and nine. We've got the two across here. So that's the two, that's the nine. Uh... <laughs> Uh, nine blocking this square, so this will be our nine, and this will be our six. Now we've oops, six, sorry, and we've got six there, of course, and we're going to have six here and nine there, right? And nine blocks down here and across there, so there's our nine. The last digit to place here uh, is five. I think they've taken pity on me. I think the New York Times has been torturing me for the last week or couple of weeks, rather. And uh, finally they said, OK, we'll give you a day off. So thank you, New York Times, for letting us off uh, with, uh, without too much torture today. Um, that's it then. So a very straightforward game for New York Times hard level. And uh, that's it. I'm going to get on with some work now. Thank you. Bye-bye.